sound a little biased, but the teacher who's had the biggest impact on my life is Miss Langford, but not just because she's my mom. She was my 7th and 8th grade science teacher and cheer sponsor. She always made science fun. Whether she was standing on the table talking about protons and electrons or handing out starfish for dissection. I still remember in cheer when she put her hand on my diaphragm to make sure I was yelling correctly. It was embarrassing then, but it worked. She always gives 100% to everything she does. And as her daughter, I've witnessed firsthand just how much her job and her students mean to her. She always comes home asking how she can improve her class or worrying about her students. Her passion for teaching inspires me to never give up and to follow my dreams. She's an encourager, a coach, a friend, and an amazing teacher. I'm so grateful that I got the opportunity to learn from her, and I'm still learning from her today. I am so very honored that my own sweet child, Hannah Langford, has chosen me as the teacher that has inspired her the most. Um, I, I find it so ironic that this marvelous creature that God blessed us with has seen fit to say that I inspire her because she inspires me every single day and has always inspired me from the days when she was a toddler that would sing Jesus Loves Me to anybody in the store that we were in who would listen to the beautiful young lady she is today who knows what she wants and is not afraid to go after it and who is able to choose right and choose good even when it seems like the whole world is choosing wrong or the easy road. She's not afraid to stand her ground and do what she knows is right. Uh, she makes me a better person every single day. I can't tell you how many times she looks at me and says, Mom, Jesus doesn't like that. So um, this honor is just that. It's an honor to be able to say that my own child thinks that I'm a great teacher. And I don't think we need any more seal of approval than that. I hope that I have inspired others as I inspired her. Go catch your dreams, baby girl. Miss Brooks has taught me so much the past few years. I've grown as a theater member and as a person because of her. Ms. Brooks is an amazing teacher and an even better person. She is incredibly selfless and hardworking. She takes time out of her day to guide each one of her students and still makes everyone feel special. It's hard to believe that she won't be my director next year. I'm going to miss you so much, Ms. Brooks. Hi, my name is Candace Brooks and I'm the theater director here at Hawkins ISD. And I've been here for two years, and in that two years, I've gotten to know Cameron Hornbrook. She is an amazing young lady, and I've been so proud to work with her on so many different productions, classes, and UIL events. Cameron is one of those kids that you always want in your class. She will do anything you ask, will pay attention, give you her all. If there's ever any situation that we have in theater that we need to figure something out for, Cameron is our go-to girl. She is a problem solver. She's a hard worker and she is very dedicated to this theater department. We are very blessed to have had her these last two years in the theater department and she has been such a strong pillar of this department. Cameron, it has been so fun getting to know you, loving theater with you, stressing over theater with you, and figuring out what might have been wrong with some of our friends in the theater with you. I wish you the best of luck in your future. I know it's going to be a great one. Break a leg, Cameron. I've encountered many teachers during my time at Hawkins ISD. The one teacher that influenced me the most and that's guided me the most is Coach Condi. I had Coach Condi in the eighth grade as a math teacher, but her teachings go much more beyond just the classroom. I've had her as a coach and 
I knew her before I entered middle school. She's always been a role model and a leader. Coach Condé has always encouraged me to be the best that I could be. She's encouraged me to step out of my box and be a leader. She has given me confidence in myself to believe that I can do anything that I put my mind to. I used to hate public speaking. And then I got in Coach Connie's class and we had to write a song about math and sing it in front of the whole class. And I was really nervous at first, but after I did it, I had more confidence in myself. And I'm still not a good singer, but I can get up in front of a group of people and speak and talk about anything. So I thank her for pushing me to do something that I didn't want to do. There's a quote that Coach Condi always says. He says that character is who you are when no one's looking. And she's always said this, and I've always had it in the back of my mind, remembering to always do the right thing because you don't know who you're influencing. And Coach Condi influenced me even when she didn't know she was. And for that, Coach Condi, I love you and I thank you for believing me and always pushing me to be the best person that I could be. Nat, I'm so honored and humbled that you chose me to be a teacher that had a positive influence on your life. I feel blessed to have had the opportunity to be a part of your life, not only in the school setting, but as a close family friend. Because of that, I've had the joy of watching you grow into a beautiful, smart, and witty young lady. It makes me so happy to see you continue to grow and have success in so many different areas of your life. There's so many positive, positive characteristics that I could dwell on. One of the things that sticks out in my mind is your love for people. You have such a huge heart, and that says a lot about your character. I want to thank you for not only loving on my kids, but loving on the kids that are in the community. You can tell the amount of support that you have and the impact that you've made on these children by how many come to watch you and support you in different activities. It goes to show there's always little eyes on you, and I know that you'll continue to be a role model for them and for all people. I also admire your willingness to help in whatever capacity it's needed. Your greatest and best attribute is the love you have for the Lord. That's something that can never be taken from you, and that's the only thing that matters matters in the end. This is such a bittersweet moment for me. I'll miss your smiling face, even if sometimes you're smiling because you're laughing at me. But at the same time, I hope you know how proud I, proud I am of you and how much I love you. I'm sad to see you go, but I know you'll do great things at SFA and have a successful career. Continue to keep the Lord first. Always follow your heart and dreams. Live your life with no regrets. Don't ever forget that your morals and values are things that never can be taken from you. Remain true to yourself. Now it's time for you to go make SFA a better place, one day at a time. Love you, Nat. Over the years that I've attended Hawkins ISD, I've come to across quite a few teachers that have positively influenced my life and made a positive impact on me. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you because not really sure you understand just how much you have impacted me. But out of every teacher that I've ever had, there's one teacher that just stands above the rest because even though the last time she taught me was in the third grade, here we are nine years later and she's still teaching me lessons. Um, Miss Bonner was my third grade teacher and I honestly loved third grade year because of her. Now I'm just so grateful that I got to have her and grow close to her and I'm just grateful because even though she no longer teaches like or taught me in a classroom setting she's still a mentor to me and still teaches me life lessons nine years after I had her class which is just amazing and I just want you to know that because of you I'm no longer worried about where my future is going to take me and I'm pretty confident in my future and I just want you to know that I am so thankful for you and that I love you and that you're always going to have a special place in my heart. I remember Reagan as being such a precious little girl in third grade. Uh, she came to me very quiet, sweet, and very conscientious. 
I remember more than anything else how much she loved school and how much she enjoyed just being with her friends and doing what Miss Fauna wanted her to do. I take it as an honor. I am honored that she would select me because the truth of the matter is she had more of an impact on me probably than I had on her. She made me be a good teacher. Uh, I must say that I think she gives me too much credit. She was a blessing in my class because she always wanted to do her best. I remember her mom and I actually laughing and kind of chuckling about the fact that Reagan didn't want to make a B. She actually worried about making a B in third grade. But I think that's a testament to the kind of student that she was. She wanted to be the best. And I think that has been evident throughout her school days. Um, I believe that whatever she attempts to do in life, she's going to do a good job. She's going to be successful. I just want to say to her that I love her. I am proud of her. And thank you, Reagan, for being the kind of student that you were for Miss Bonner in third grade. Don't forget where you came from. Take God with you, and you're going to be successful. We love you. Now go and soar. Mr. Adams has been one of the greatest teachers I've had in all my years of high school. I've gained more respect for him just in the three years that I've had him as a teacher. In biology, Mr. Adams not only taught me all about animal and, and environmental sciences, but he also taught me the importance of honesty and taking pride in the work that I've accomplished. In anatomy and physiology, I know there were quite a few hilarious moments because he taught a class full of only girls. All I'm going to say is that was an interesting year for all of us. As a senior, Mr. Adams talked me into taking his dual credit environmental systems course. Knowing Mr. Adams, I knew it was going to be a difficult course. However, even though I stressed out all year about how much work needed to be done and how much studying I needed to do to make a better grade on the next test, I wouldn't have traded his class for any other, not even an earlier release. Even though he pushed both me and my patients past my limits several times, I have grown to know that his classes have really trained me for college and anything else that I will do in my life. I don't recall which year this was, but there was a time when Mr. Adams helped me to see the importance of honesty in a newer light. He helped me understand that an assignment that was done with pure honesty that perhaps made a not so excellent grade has a far greater value than any, than any assignment that has an A plus on it but has been cheated on. Mr. Adams taught me the importance of self-motivation, not procrastinating, and to think of myself as a science genius but still being willing to learn more every day. I really appreciate everything you've done for me, Mr. Adams. I know I can be a pain in the keister sometimes, but you have really motivated me to do great things. It's because of you that I have become so interested in environmental and biology studies. I will miss you so much next year. Thank you. Good evening and congratulations, graduating seniors. It's been a long time coming for y'all. Um, and I know y'all have all worked hard to get here. Um, I've known some of y'all for the last three years and it has been a genuine pleasure. Um, and I would especially like to thank Miss Alana Wilcox for nominating me as her most influential teacher. Uh, it really means a lot. Uh, it's great for any teacher when a student recognizes the what we've done to help them to to grow into uh, the young people that and young adults that y'all are. Um, knowing. I've known Alana for three years now, uh, starting in my honors biology class, uh, where I met a great number of y'all. And the change in her has been really remarkable. 
Um, I thought back and forth on whether or not I was going to tell this story, but I'm going to because there's a good merit in it. Uh, into sophomore year, multiple students realized that they were actually going to have to work, and they were amazed by how much was involved in my class, and some of them made a less than desirable decision. Multiple of them got caught after having made that bad decision. Unfortunately, Alana was one of them. But Alana was the only student who wrote any type of apology or um, any, any way to take ownership of her decision. She talked about how guilty she felt and how it was tearing her up inside because she knew better trying to take the easy way out. And from that moment on, it changed her work ethic and she started to really push herself to become a better overall student and the work has paid off. Um, she only continued to grow in her abilities and her knowledge since then. Um, it's really made a difference in her life by her deciding that she was gonna just work harder. And this year she was my top student for my dual credit class. Um, I'm really looking forward to what she's gonna do in her life. Having gone through the struggles and the growth that occurred in high school. Um, Alana, it has been a genuine privilege and I wish you the best of luck. And do not ever hesitate to get in touch with me if you have any questions. Um, I wish you the best of luck in everything that you do going forward. The teacher who has had the biggest influence on me would have to be Ms. Prater. I've had her for three years now in journalism, OR, UIL, and English, and she's always pushed me to be a better writer. Whether it was writing essays in her class or captions for the yearbook or even papers for practicing for competition, she's always helped me to ensure that I would succeed in what I was doing. Without her, I do not think I would know the career path that I'm going down. Because of her, I've decided that I want to be a journalist, and I know it's what I enjoy and what I love to do. Thank you, Ms. Prater. I have no idea what I would do without you. Katie, I'm so sad to lose you. We've been through so much. We've been down so many roads together, literally and figuratively, driving around Austin, navigating the UT campus, um, learning things together. Uh, you've always been willing to do everything and try everything, and you're so excited and enthusiastic about what the world has to offer, and you're going to go out and create big things. You're going to enter this cutthroat world of journalism, which can be very ugly at times, and you're, I hope that your sweet, sweet spirit will carry you through where you can create some beauty in that world. I love you so much, and I'm going to miss you so much, but you're, I know you're going to go out and make us proud teacher I'd like to recognize is Mr. Binky. Mr. Binky was my drafting and design teacher my last two years of high school. And I just really enjoyed his class from his laid back personality to just the friendly atmosphere that was always in his classroom. Um, we would do anything from sketch designs to working on a shed to building benches. And some days we would just sit around, just talk and trade stories. But what really struck me about his class was just he every day he exhibited that he was not only a great person but he was a great Christian, and that was that's something I really strive to be, and um, he really was just always willing to help out, just always willing to have patience with you when you didn't know what you were doing, and um, he would help you along and he taught me a lot. I mean, when it comes to construction, I'm at I'm no next to nothing, but um. He really helped me learn new qualities and skills that I'm they're sure to be very critical for me in my future. And um, for that, I'm very thankful and I'm going to miss him, but um, I'm going to say thank you, Mr. Binky, because 
you really taught me a lot of skills and taught me a lot of traits that are important for someone to have as they go through their life. And I thank you. Mark, first of all, thank you for selecting me as your, your teacher. I, I feel honored, uh, and I'm very, very pleased to say a few words about you. Uh, I've enjoyed having you in class. Uh, extremely pleasant attitude. Always willing to help a, another student with their work if they've been absent. Always willing to do whatever. Work on the picnic tables, work on this, work on that. Yes sir, no sir. You know, those are traits that I don't see very often anymore, and I appreciate that. We really haven't had a chance to talk about what you're going to do when you leave the halls of Hawkins High, but I wish you the very, very best. You have all the tools you need. You have character. You're honest. You're pleasant to be around. Uh, whatever you choose to do, I have no doubt that you'll be extremely good at it. Oh, and by the way, you are a speller. Thanks so much for finding that misspelled word on all those 15 picnic tables. I really appreciate that. Nobody else caught it for three weeks. Mark looks at it and said, you know, there's no T in property. And I'm like, oh, no, surely not. So once again, thanks for finding that. No, seriously, I want you to remember three things. Faith, family, and friends. Keep them in that order. Stick to those three F words. They're good F words. They'll take you a long, long way in life. Once again, Mark, it's been an honor and a privilege to have you in class. I wish you the very, very best. Don't be a stranger. Pop back in from time to time. You know how to get in without going through the office. Ha, ha, ha. Yep, come on through the back door. Visit with us. Let us know what you're doing from time to time. And once again, best of luck. God bless. Thanks again, Mark. It's an honor. Thank you. The teacher that has made the greatest impact on my life this year as a senior would definitely be Miss Robinson. Um, every day that we went to her class, she always had a smile on her face in the hallways. Even when we were having a bad day, we didn't feel like being here. She always had like a really positive attitude, and it helped us get through the day. Anytime I had any problems, I was going through anything at school or at home, she was always there to listen to me. She never turned me away. She always made me feel like she cared. She's really like a second mother to me here at school, and I don't think I would have got through this year without her. There was a lot of times this year that I felt lost. Like, I've been preparing for my future, it seems like my whole life, but I didn't feel prepared for this moment where I had to make big decisions in my life on what I wanted to do. And exactly, I didn't know exactly the steps that it would take to move into college, to do all my FAFSA, all my paperwork, get everything in line for what I had coming up next. She explained that it wasn't too late. It wasn't like impossible to just set my life out before me. And that's exactly what I did. She told me the steps that I needed to take. And that's what I did. Um, she opened up a lot of possibilities. She showed us that there were a lot of different ways to approach things. We could go to a junior college, we could go to a four-year university, even go to the military, and no matter what we wanted to do, she explained the steps that it would take to get to that point and what we needed to do. And she always supported us no matter what we chose, so I really loved that about her instead of her trying to tell us what we should do. Um, she showed us a lot how it felt to be in the business world. Um, she showed us that it would be competitive that we had to do things on our own, that it wasn't going to be someone coming behind you directing you to do everything, that there was a there was a goal, and you did what you wanted to do to reach that goal. And it really helped. It was a really good business class. I feel like we're little entrepreneurs now because we started our own businesses and made our own money. Um, she helped us experience what it would be like in interviews whenever we graduate college. Um, she told us the type of questions they would ask. She told us um, how to conduct ourselves in those situations, and I feel better prepared now. She gave us different tips on how to move up in the world, and she's just, to me, she's an all-around good person. I really love her. I have a deep connection with her, and I know that I will miss her dearly. I hope that even when I leave, I'll still stay in contact with her. And I know that at the end of the day, if I fail all my classes and I don't pass the bar exam, that I know how to say my choice. This year, I've had the honor of serving as Daniel Atkinson's senior business English teacher. I've watched Danielle grow into a mature, beautiful, intelligent, and motivated young lady. 
One of her more notable accomplishments in my classroom would have to be last fall when she placed second in a countywide writing contest concerning the American Constitution. Another would be her proficient and profitable implementation of her entrepreneurial project, where she and fellow senior Ashley Himes were able to create one of the highest earning projects of the entire class. Danielle is as ambitious as she is kind-hearted. She has been accepted into Texas A&M Commerce and plans to pursue a career in the law field. I feel that she is well-equipped to pursue all of her future endeavors. I have been proud to be her teacher and proud to have helped her in some small way along her path. Good luck, Danielle. Go forth and do great things. In my years, the teacher who has influenced me the most has been Miss Brooks. She has made me feel so loved and accepted. When I needed some words of advice, she had the right words to say. When I needed a hug, she was there with outstretched arms. She always put people above herself. She is kind-spirited, honest, loving, and very supportive. Miss Brooks has taught me to always be strong, to believe in myself, and to never give up. She's impacted me in ways that she doesn't even realize. By her character, she shows valuable heart. Along with this, she's taught me many life lessons. I will forever be grateful for not only a teacher, but a friend like her. Miss Brooks will always have a special place in my heart, and I will use the life lessons and advice that she has given me throughout my future. Miss Destiny Chapman, I must say it has been a real pleasure and has been a fun journey all through high school. I have enjoyed you and I wish you much, much happiness and success on your journey. I will always love you and I will miss you dearly. Always, Mama Brooks. I have been lucky enough to have Miss Brooks as a teacher for the past four years. Um, she's been there through it all with me, from asking me about tennis, to watching me play, to really all my embarrassing moments that I've had in her class. She is one of the greatest and most influential teachers that I've ever had. She's always making me laugh, especially whenever she falls out of her chair in class. And I'm going to miss her so much. Um, thank you for everything that you've done. For me and making me the person that I am. Miss Haley Dollins, I would like to say it has been a real pleasure and a joy to have worked with you and have had you all four years of high school and watch you grow into a beautiful young lady. And I finally learned how to spell your name and I would like to wish you much joy and happiness on your journey. It has been fun and I always remember I love you, Mama Brooks. Here's to you, you were pink or blue And everything I wanted Here's to you, never sleeping through From midnight till the morning Had to crawl before you walked Before you ran, before I knew it you were trying to free your fingers from my hand Cause you could do it on your own now Somehow Slow down Won't you stay here a minute more I know you wanna walk through the door But it's all too fast Let's make it last a little while I pointed to the sky And now you wanna fly I am your biggest fan I hope you know I am But do you think you can somehow Slow down Here's to you Every missing tooth, every bedtime story Here's to Barbie cars, lightsaber wars Sleeping in on Sunday, had to crawl Before you walked, before you ran Before I knew it, you were teaching me The only thing love can Hold hands through it when it's scary You've got me Let's slow down 
you stay here a minute more I know you wanna walk through the door But it's all too fast Let's make it last a little while I pointed to the sky And now you wanna fly I am your biggest fan Hope you choose the one that means the most to you Hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance And if it's cold outside, show the world the warmth of your smile more than anything More than anything I hope you dance I hope you dance I can almost see it That dream I'm dreaming There's a voice inside my head saying You'll never reach it But I, I gotta keep trying Gotta keep my head held high My wish for you Is that this life becomes all that you want it to Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small You never need to carry more than you can hold Jump, you don't feel the fall Hope when the water rises You build a wall and Hope when the crowd screams out The scream of your name Hope if everybody runs You'll say It's always gonna be another mountain Always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other
about tomorrow like we think about now Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end And suddenly it's like women and men Will the past be a shadow?